Hello again, Rebecca here. Today I'm playing along again with the Crafty IQ Facebook Challenge group, and this is a build a layout creations for June. Here are the June layers, and I will go over those in a minute. So we're also celebrating JQ Crafty, who is also, that's our YouTube name, it's Jackie. She set herself a goal to reach 700 subbies this year and she has smashed that so we are all celebrating her today and instead of scrap lifting her she wanted us to play along with her challenge group which i had already planned on doing so it worked out i absolutely love this idea where there are seven different creators um jackie included and every couple days they pick something to add to your page so some people glue down some people don't some people wait until all of the um layers are given now i go ahead and do mine as they're given so um there's like a break in between each layer so right here the first layer was a half page themed pattern paper but not the layout theme okay so my layout theme is a boy scout um, banquet all about the boy scouts and the pattern paper that i chose was this license plate um so it had really nothing to do with the entire layout so that was my first one done and i went ahead and mat it i went ahead and put that on some red uh cardstock well it's not really cardstock it's pattern paper that came with this echo park collection the second one is to add a snowflake and three layers under your photo so I had picked up some fun um, glittery snowflakes from Spiegel Mom Scraps not too long ago. And I, they were sitting on my desk and I was like, score, they're sitting right there actually in that little package. I am gonna go ahead and take some of the scraps that I have left over from this Echo Park All Boy Collection. You guys know I've been working my way through it. And I'm just going to mat my photo three different times. Um, first on the green, then I'm going to make it work with the blue scrap that I had, and then I'm gonna do that plaid paper. So I'm just gonna paper piece this one together. And then I'm going to, I'm not, the only thing that I've adhered so far other than the layers is uh, the layers under my photo and the strip, the half pattern paper that really isn't a theme. And I try to not adhere, thing, I, adhere, adhere things. <laughs> But when we get to another layer, I'm like, I am going to, I like the way it looks. And if I don't glue this down, I'm going to make a mess and lose things. <laughs> so halfway through, I start adhering everything down. And then you will see in later layers, I have to pull and tear things back up, which is totally fine. It's my, it's my thing. I do it. So I am going to go ahead one more time. Um, I also want to remind you that there will be a, this is like a hop, so everyone that played along and created a video to play with the challenge and to celebrate Jackie will be listed down below. So that is another piece of pattern paper used. I just pull out one of those fun snowflakes and I was toying with matting my photo one more time, but I did not because that would have been more. So the next layer is re is a repeating row of elements. And I have all of my son's old patches that he earned, and I'm gonna use those. <laughs> so I just randomly take them, kind of get them out, and I'm gonna do a repeating row. Now it's not the same thing per se, but they're all badges and patches that he had earned. So that is going to be the shelf that my photo sits on. I do want to apologize if you guys do hear the background noise. I do know some people say it's much, but some people say it's fine. I am sitting outside in the morning before I have to get ready to go to work. My family is still tucked nicely in their little beds, and I'm just having a morning cup of coffee, and the birds are chirping, and I believe there's a rooster crone in the background too, if you can hear that. So I do glue my photo down, and this is when I decide or I had laid it all out and I went to move it. That's why there was a break. I went to move it and I knocked it. So I was like, no, we are just gonna start gluing all these patches down. So I do go ahead and commit. I glue the photo down because I'm going to overlap the patches onto the photo. And then it's just my son and one of his little cubby scouts um, and they're holding a sign at the blue and gold banquets. So, you know, document, document, document. Now I am just using my liquid adhesive, which is the art glitter glue and 
putting a very nice layer in the patch and then along the edge. On some of them, the stitching around the edge is thicker than the actual patch, which is why you see that I am running it along the edge. And yeah, and I'm covering some of the words and stuff and it, it, that doesn't bother me, you guys. Like, it's really just using these up. So I don't have to throw them away because they were quite expensive. If you had a Boy Scout, you know that you know, everything does a cost, and I was the um, den mother and the pack leader, <laughs> so I definitely know. That is the patch that he got for attending a uh, blue and gold. I don't even know if it's the same year. I have to go back and look, but if it's not, I'm totally okay with it regardless. And I am going to go ahead and glue the snowflake down. So we are now on to the next layer, which is stamping. And I have never used this little stamp before, so I just go ahead and rub it on my skin to prime the stamp. And this is just a couple little star bits that I'm going to place around like enamel dots. And I just, I'm feeling it looks good. Next layer, we're on to die cutting. So I did take these circle wonky dies, cut them out in that orange that I had previously thought about matting the photo in and I am just going to layer them up right to this side of the photo just to fill in a little bit of that gap and that is going to do it I do go ahead and glue my photo back down and then we are going to move to the sixth layer which is a pre-made title and a pocket card so I may have cheated on the pocket card I'm not gonna lie it is a pocket card, but it's only like a portion of a pocket card, which is fine because I'm trying to use those up anyway, so yay. <laughs> All right, we're going to look at that, and here we go. So here is my pre-made title, which is just going to be Gather, and that is simply because it was a gathering, and none of my pre-made titles that I currently had in my stash, nothing else worked, so I'm just going to make Gather work. And these are the Hampton Arts. I picked these packs up um, from Peachy Cheap. And I am just going to layer it. It fits nicely right in this area. Um, I did kind of cover up a little bit of the stamping that I had already done. But, you know, it happens. I am going to use my glue because even though these are foam thickers, they don't stick. They don't stick. Then I do take a couple of the stars from the sheet um, just to bring in black in a couple different areas. Uh, when I stamped, I did use the um, black ink from Close to My Heart. Now this is, I pulled out these two cards, and these are my pocket cards, and I'm just going to cut the one that says Amazing and tuck it right there at the bottom underneath all of those patches. And we are now on to the last layer, which is splatters and puffy stickers. I pull out the Raspberry Heidi Swap Color Shine, and I'm going to splatter that right around the page. And this Echo Park collection also had puffy stickers in it, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick a few of those down. And that's gonna be my layout. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the page. Click that subscribe button down below if you have not already. Don't forget to check out the Facebook group. Join in and play along next month. Hop on over to Jackie's channel and tell her congratulations. Bye.